Get out of you, go! I don't ever want to see you again! I think it is, of course, disgusting! Where else are they gonna go? They're gonna drive all the way into Woolerton? Oh, where do they live? Woolerton! Do you guys think we're as good as Woolerton? You know something? You disgust me. I know what people like you get up to. And A 10-year-old girl with cancer has met player Evander Kane before, but this day was supposed to be special for Cecily because a fund paid for her to watch her favorite team in the playoffs. But, and this was not reported to security, but according to Evander Kane, the evening allegedly did not go as planned. On Instagram, my dear friend Cecily got to go on an amazing trip to LA last week that created some incredibly fun memories, but some of her experience in LA, specifically at game three of the game, was not. I'm disgusted and appalled at what happened to this amazing little girl in the stands and in a women's restroom where she was harassed for wearing her jersey and was spit on by an LA fan for doing so. This type of behavior is gross and completely unacceptable. For any young girl, especially someone battling cancer, to be treated in such a manner is pathetic. Grow up, and as this smart young lady always says, be kind. In response he gets, maybe you should be kind and not be such a f***ing scum, the message stated. We Kings fans literally hate you. You made us spit on kids for being a dirty mother Listen to your own words and be kind, you f***ing scumbag. Chrissy has deleted her Instagram, but the internet is forever, as apparently the internet is doing their thing and have located her employer, leaving phone messages or online content to not give them business because of Chrissy. The woman apparently doing the spitting was Chrissy Arvanitis. Congratulations, you're famous. Spitting is and always will be a lost. I hope you are charged if this event happened as is described. The child's mother said, LA was definitely a hostile environment. There was a fight just two rows in front of Cecily. She was spit on, sworn at. It wasn't the best experience, but it's also very important to remember that a couple fans don't represent the whole fan base. The child must be raised right because Cecily on Instagram says, Watching hockey in LA is lots different than watching hockey in Canada. Edmonton fans are very different. I think if we can choose to be anything, we should choose to be kind. She has it right. The correct response here is kindness. I personally don't think the internet review bombing her work and such is the way to go. Donating is. Because, like, damn Chrissy, it's just a hockey game, playoffs or not. Keep your hands and especially your saliva to yourself. You paid a lot of money on those tickets. You have now paid money to likely get fired and become disliked by Euler and Kings fans alike and anyone else hearing this story. The official Kings statement says, The LA Kings have never condoned fan behavior of this nature and all fans should feel safe and welcomed at our games. Adding that there is a texting line during games that they can use to report terrible behavior and that they encourage people to donate to Cecily. Some good has come out of this with Kane tweeting, Hey Kings Twitter, this awesome and amazing hockey fan is named Cecily and she has cancer. Here is her donation page. Let's show her what real King fans are like. As a result of this woman, Cecily has received thousands on her donation page. I've included the link below. Please donate because cancer. It's a